boys and girls, it's Miss Carol, and it's story time again. And tonight I'm going to read a story that you're all very familiar with, but I love this this story, so I wanted to read it again. And I have a, a wonderful book that has really good pictures in it. So I wanted to read the story of Noah's Ark, The First Rainbow. So if you're ready, I'll begin. The First Rainbow. Long ago, the people on earth were being bad. This made God very sad. He wanted to wash his world clean again. He would make it rain. But there was one good man, and his name was Noah. So here's the pictures in the book, boys and girls. Can you see them? Oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah. His name was Noah. Build a boat, God said to Noah, a boat to float when it rains, for water will flood the earth. So Noah did. There he is. Oh, he's starting to build it. There's the frame of the ark. Everybody's so busy getting things ready. I'm seeing a few animals, too. All righty. Fill the boat with animals. Two of every kind, God said to Noah, so Noah did. Well, boys and girls, I'm going to hold this page up for just a little bit because there's lots of animals on here, and I want you to see as many of them as you can. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the animals. I see a giraffe. Look around the giraffe. There's a snake. Oh, I see some zebras. What else do you see? I see birds. I see alligators. What else do you see? All kinds of animals. I think I saw a monkey too. And many more animals because we know there were many that got on that ark. There were all kinds of birds and animals. Big and small. Fierce and friendly. Furry and smooth. Noisy and quiet. <laughs> oh boy look at that what's that oh look at that one. Oh, look at that tiger there's a bird there's a snake it looks like a bear up there he's kind of furry oh boy all different kinds of animals getting on that ark I see a little turtle at the bottom too at last all the animals were on board there was just enough room for Noah and his family too then God shut the door of the boat. Oh, see, they're getting on. They're the last ones to get on. All the animals are on. And now Noah and his family are getting on. Oh, I see panda bears, too, and leopards. Oh, boy, all kinds of animals. Wow, had to be really big, right? It began to rain. It rained for 40 days, and it rained for 40 nights. Down, down, down fell the rain. Up, up, up rose the water. Soon the boat was afloat. Noah could see nothing but water everywhere. See, boys and girls? The rain's coming down. It's the water's coming up. And now look at here. Oh, look at this last picture. You don't see anything but water and the ark. Oh a lot of rain. At last it stopped raining. Days passed, weeks passed, months passed, but still there was water everywhere. Oh my, look at the ark. Look at the ark and look at look at all the fish. Look at that big, it looks like a big whale and an octopus all swimming around the ark because there was still a lot of water. Oh, The birds and animals were bored. They trumpeted, they grunted, and bleated, and brayed. All the animals were making noise. They were getting tired of being on the ark because they were on it for so long. I think I'd be tired after 40 days and 40 nights, too. One day, the boat stopped on a mountaintop. 
the water was going down. Noah let a raven fly from the boat. Oh, it did not come back. See, boys and girls? There's some land now, see? Now it's starting, the water's starting to go down. And everybody's out on the ark. Look at, they're all looking, thinking, when can we get off? When can we get off? Let's see. I don't want to miss a page. I think I missed a page here. Hold on. Nope. The birds and animals wanted to go outside. They chattered and cheeped and, and cawed and roared. What do you think roared? Yep, the lion. Yeah. So the birds were chirping. The lion roared. There he is. He's roaring. He said, let me off. I'm tired of being on here. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with... I have a Band-Aid on my finger, so sometimes it's hard to turn the pages. Come out, God said to Noah. The world is clean again. Now you and your family and all the animals must fill it with new life. Thank you, God, said Noah, for keeping us safe. Oh, look at how happy they all are. Oh, they're rejoicing. They're rejoicing. The water is gone, and now they're going to start a new life again. This is so wonderful, boys and girls. Oh, then God painted the world's first rainbow as a promise that he would never send a flood like that again. He was happy with his clean new world. That's why it's called the first rainbow, boys and girls, because that's the very first rainbow God created. Look at that. That was a sign to Noah that it would he would never flood the earth like that again. And what do we always say? God keeps his promises, doesn't he, boys and girls? Well, what a great story. I love that one. I, I know we all know it, and I've read it many times, but I wanted to read it again because it's such a good story. Well, boys and girls, I hope you're having a good week. Easter's coming pretty soon. Easter will be here. So I hope that you are enjoying the warmer weather we've had. I hope you've been able to play outside a little bit because when it was cold, it was so hard to be out there. You just couldn't couldn't play outside for very long, and there was lots of snow, although I'm sure you like being in the snow. But in any case, I hope you're enjoying the warmer weather. And until I read another story next week, I would just like to say to you, as always, blessings to you all. Until we meet again, bye.